Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey you guys, so today I'm bringing you a video on the Galaxy Note 3 and this one is on Knox. Now if you don't know what Knox is, Knox is basically designed for business customers in order to separate your phone from your personal and your business side. So one thing about it is you need to have a password just to log into Knox. Even if you don't have a password, so as you can see my screen lock, has no password on it whatsoever. However, Knox still needs a password to log into it. You create the password, but it still needs one no matter what. So once I sign into my password, you have a different type of screen. Now, this is locked away and encrypted from the rest of the phone. So, these are the only apps you have built into it. I've actually downloaded another one, but these are the only apps you have into it. So the idea behind this, it's the ideal thing for a person to bring your own device. Simply because if you bring your own device, your company will have access to all of this section of your phone. However, it will not have access to your personal side. So this will be separate from your personal side. So if a company needs to wipe out all of tides from your business side, you don't have to reset your phone when you leave the company. They just wipe out everything on the Knox area, which is obviously very handy. Um, this is really big when you leave a company because generally you are required to uh, wipe out all of their information. And the only way they can do that is typically by wiping out your phone. This way, they only wipe out a section of the phone that obviously you wouldn't need anymore. Now, all the apps come from a separate section called Samsung Knox apps. So these are entirely separate from uh, not only the Google Play Store, but it's actually different from the regular Samsung Store. Uh, these have to match a certain encryption level just to get on this um, app store so it's it's pretty impressive it really is um, taking business to the next level and uh, to a plateau that really only blackberry did before and now samsung's doing so as you can see like uh, for instance this dropbox app is the dropbox for samsung knox so again it's encrypted w before you put it in so that no one else can see it from this phone um, all of these are so you have things like office um, you have things like clocking in and clocking out apps. You have things like receipts for travelers, mobile sharing apps, um, receiver apps for communication between people, auditing apps, um, conversion apps, medical apps. You just have a lot of different kind of apps for different kind of uh, styles, business card translator app. You, you just have a lot invoices auditing you you really do have a lot of different kind of styles for apps um, and they and they become very useful and you have a section of paid for ones these are business apps so they do go as high as uh, fifty dollars from what i've seen uh, so they can be obviously expensive but for businesses it's pretty understandable and lots of free apps of course as well um, just to get your basic needs done so when you're done with Knox, you just go to the home section and there you have your regular standard home. Now keep in mind, in order to log into um, Knox, you'll always have it at the top over here after you've signed in the first time. If you haven't signed in the first time, then you just go to the regular app. Um, another important thing is, is I have an email set up for my uh, email app on my regular side of the phone, so my personal side. However, if I wanted to set that up, if I wanted to set that email up for the Knox side, when you add an account, you'll actually see there is a regular email and there's a Knox email. So you would want to set up the Knox email or the Knox exchange server or any of the parts that you would actually do Knox is separate from the built-in ones. So for your work email, you would actually want to add, well, you would actually want to add to Microsoft Exchange, ActiveSync, uh, 
to here instead of there. So that is my current one that I have active and I do not have this one active. If I did need to keep it separate, that's what I would do. All right, hopefully this was helpful for um, aspiring business customers and just people that want to securely have a different side of their phone. So this is Samsung Knox on the Galaxy Note 3. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.